Yo, what is going on guys? Lottery Stocks here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the channel if you are new. Today we have a few important things to go over for AMC Stock that I think really stand out and actually I wanted to just put out in front of you guys. Usually I make these videos really quick and it's just a technical analysis and the call options and we are going to have that but I want to bring in a few important factors that actually come into the mix for tomorrow upcoming week and for the squeeze in general all i ask you guys to do is hit the like button and if you want to join the fam hit the subscribe button you guys get the whole spiel i'm not a financial advisor let's get into the video all right guys now i did see somebody tweet about vanguard owning 400 and something percent of amc stock now without that being said, I just had to, you know, run over here and fact check it before I brought anything out to you guys because it's more of bringing it to myself. I like to fact check things anyway, but I did go over on Vanguard's Institutional Holdings website. And yes, this is not as of this month. This is for June. But as you guys can see, June 30th month and 10 largest holdings vanguard's largest holding is amc stock and this doesn't confirm the rumor that they just added an insane large amount to their position but it does actually give me a little bit more of i don't i don't know i don't want to say leeway but it, it gives me a little bit more proof that they probably did do that because the amount of they are holding for amc just means that we have this large whale that sees something coming or is just on our side you know guys who knows right also hedge funds usually buy in very very soon to if they're doing a short position a short-term position sorry if they are buying in as a short-term play bullish play usually they buy in very um, very soon to what is about to happen. So what I, I'm kind of just getting at that they, they see the squeeze is coming soon. That's pretty much what I wanted to say. But I was trying to just kind of put it at you guys blindly. But next thing I wanted to go over, AMC apes hold strong as option traders slap to ask. Now I like this article and I don't like this article for a few type of reasons, but this is good and it is on Weeble. You guys can go check it out yourself, but I'm going to read this out very quick to you guys. and you know, nitpick at the pieces that I want to talk about. On Monday, AMC Entertainment Holdings broke bearish from a triangle the stock had set up and on Tuesday continued to fall lower. This is all correct. The stock has entered into a demand zone, however, where traders and investors have typically purchased shares. When AMC traded near the $32 mark on July 15th and July 19th, bulls came in and bought the stock and it traded higher over the days that followed bulls will want amc to hold above the level to feel confident going forward first of all this pisses me off because they don't know who's doing what and i hate how they're putting names on everything because yeah it's not bad for the article in the short term but it's bad because it makes people think that these articles know what they're talking about. And then when they want to put out bad news that could be false, completely false, it seems like it's not false because people think they know what they're talking about. This annoys me because, yeah, it was trading around this range. But when they say bulls came in and bought the stock and it traded higher over the days that followed, bulls will want AMC to hold above the level to feel confident going forward. They don't know what's going on behind the scenes. They don't know what we want. They don't know who bought. And we buy every day. What is this bulls bought in and the stock jumped to 35? No, we buy every day. We buy and hold every single day. So that kind of annoyed me. But let's go. For now, AMC apes are holding strong. And as of Monday night, the theater chain was still a top trending stock in the Wall Street Bets community. Institutions also continue to hammer AMC call contracts and on Tuesday purchased over 3.32 million worth. One institution paid a whopping 2.6 million for 6,000 AMC calls with a strike price of $34 that will expire on August 20th. This stood out to me the most, and this is what I wanted to bring to the table for you guys. One institution paid a whopping 2.6 million for 6,000 AMC calls with a strike price of $34 that will expire on August 20th. 
what this means is not only do we have this good article, okay, the the media put out a decent article that kind of shows inst some institutions are joining us and are on our side, but at the same time, it also shows institutions are on our side. Some big whales are on our side. They see that this is very oversold under that $34 level and they dump almost $3 million into calls for the $34 strike price. That's the next thing I wanted to bring up to you guys. Now, the very next thing I wanted to bring up really quick, just the quarterly change in shares. These hedge funds, as you guys can see, increase their position 312% as of August 2nd, 107% as of August 2nd, 90% to 20%. 925 percent etc you guys get the mojo 75 percent 665 this is all as of august and you guys can see the very small ones that decrease are barely high percents at all so that's a good thing we have whales joining the apes and the last thing before the technical analysis and price prediction is of course stock the tracker and the calls and puts in and out of the money so today 4,251 calls in the money versus 48,000 puts in the money. This is why you see us getting hammered down today because people are going to be exercising their puts. People are going to be taking profits. And not only that, hedge funds short ladder attack us down insanely when we have these high amount of call contracts that are out of the money because once the price rises up, all of these contracts come in the money and begin bearish or bullish and then can cause a potential gamma squeeze. That's why always you see Fridays especially taking drop offs, right? So this is super annoying. It's kind of annoying how they can almost control the stock price, but it is in a short price range that they can control because down to a certain point, we're buying and holding and we're, we are stuck at a certain point and the more we increase, the more we hold, there's nothing we can do. If there's no one selling, it can take as long as they want, as many tactics as they want. The more we hold, the more we buy slowly, 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 and steadily. The more we are going to squeeze up, the higher the ceiling. You guys get it, 500K. You guys already know what the wave is. Now let's go over to the technicals, right? AMC down just about over 6% today, just around that range, 6%. This is not looking too hot just because i said it in the earlier video if you go over here on the daily chart and take a look at it this jump and then the slight downtrend looks exactly like this jump and then the slight downtrend the little curves but they cannot break us under 30 dollars for some reason i need to see a clean break under 30 dollars before we see that 25 dollar level and personally i don't think that'll happen but you guys never know remember this is only technical analysis i'm not going to you know bs anybody it could drop but honestly i know a lot of people that are gonna let this thing drop to 50 cents and they won't care right they won't sell not only that it will not drop that low guys i i i'm telling you this is not financial advice but it's not gonna drop that low in my opinion it won't it's impossible so my personal perspective on this is the worse the market gets, the more rules SEC puts out, the more things that we have that come into play, the more Citadel and other institutions get get investigated and things are found out. You know, we're taking a step by step, guys, right? The closer we are to the squeeze. And that's pretty much all I got to say, guys. At the beginning, we had a little jump to 25, the first squeeze. Now we have 72 jump. This is not even the beginning of the second squeeze. This is going to be insanely large and you're never going to make this amount of money in your lifetime. It's a very great buying opportunity right now, in my opinion, all my opinion, not financial advice. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. All I ask you guys to do is hit that like button. It is free. It does help the algorithm kick in. It helps the channel, helps it get out to more apes. I hope you guys taken something from this video and I hope we go to the moon very, very soon. Hit that subscribe button. Join the Lottery Stocks fam. A large amount of it, people that watch the videos are not subscribed. That is not good, guys. Smash that subscribe button with your dome piece, but don't get a concussion. And I love you all. Lottery stocks out.